Cincinnati. Tonight, the opener of a three game What's up, guys? Rich Gamer 997 here. Tonight, we're back on M21. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play the show 21. Luis Castillo. 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 What's your take on him, Dan? Going up against Louis. Really solid season. He's six and three, two point four zero ERA. So it's not bad. Strike out the walk ratio, and if he continues to do. Stepping up is Richard O'Neill, having a very nice third. Currently second in the NL batting chase. Second? Somebody is batting higher than I am? Who the hell? Epic season. And he has an outside shot to win the Triple Crown. First pitch on the way. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. But he can't uh, get it as it's off the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. And the screen shows the story right there. As that hitting streak will live to see another day. Yeah, he certainly has. He's seeing the ball so big, Matty. You see the confidence oozing off him in the box. He hasn't fished at anything. The the last How the moment, hell did he so. miss that? So I don't, I don't know. To go away anytime soon. Here's Bryce Harper now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, this is taken one. outside for ball one. And guys, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, Maddie, this is a nice one. First game of a homestand. You played well on the road. You got a chance to grab a shower and sleep in your own bed last night. I bet you this team comes out on the attack today. And now on 2-0, and you just can't lay a fastball in there. He could make it 3-0 before you know it. It's all about limiting the damage in this situation. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. and And remember here, there's an open base at first, so a walk is not the worst thing that could happen right here. Mm, probably going to walk him. And he yep, the there it is. So There's the walk. The bases, and now he's really going to get a ground ball. Eddie Rosario coming up, batting the 250. And now in the box, five home Eddie runs Rosario and RBIs. His career numbers against this pitcher. He's one for two. He's second on the Phillies. That's a terrible the team is doing. When a guy's batting 250. <laughs> It has five home runs and ten all the eyes and second behind O'Neal. Bryce Harper is doing shit this season. He's supposed to be the superstar on the team, but he ain't doing jack diddly. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Oh, that's a nasty ass fastball. 99 miles an hour. Ooh, that was a burner. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Good arm action on the That's a nasty ass circle change. 88 on a changeup. I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. This should end the inning as it sent out. Got me out front on that circle change again. Throws him out at first. <clears throat> he's I make contact with it this time. In now for the Reds, CJ Abrams. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Here comes Rivers 2 High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Excuse me. Next, here is Tyler Callahan. Flying out in his first at bat, so making 0 for 1 so far. Now, the 0 2 pitch. 
Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Two-run shot to straightaway center. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Reds have come back to tie things in two games. This is a perfect example of the total <laughs> I guess I'm the only one that's playing this game that hasn't hit diamond yet. I think everybody else just stopped playing. Runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. And he'll take those extra 90 feet so far. But all the other people that play that continuously play baseball, they're diamond and above. Mighty go. All those guys. <laughs> so that's what they the do. They play these games constantly. Every day all day because it's not their job. This is in the air after straightaway center. You know, me, I play at night time when I come home from work. <laughs> and when I'm off, and I try to play a couple. Uh, wow. So now here is Tyler Callahan. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Working for the punch out and the offering. Liner in there for the base hit. Risking anything here is the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Yeah, the pitching coach yeah. takes a stroll out to the mound, and with the pitcher this young, you just want to let him know that he's out there for a reason, and to trust what got him here is good enough to get him through this. Shit off, put the sombrero this guy's on. Hot right now, hit a bomb yesterday. <laughs> and another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Yeah, I know that was a home run as soon as I hit it. Get it done at the bottom and come 
away with a loss. 7-5 tonight's Lopez final. And the Phillies came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Mm. Dominic Leone gets the win in relief, his sixth Leone. of the season. Edwin Diaz closes yeah, the door for the seat. save, his 22nd. So that will wrap <laughs> things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. For the red, five runs, ten. Oh, my colors are back. Yeah, yesterday that game was messed up. Stupid colors was in there. Thirty-four minutes. <coughs> Tonight's paid attendance at Great American Ballpark, forty-two thousand three hundred nineteen. The Reds thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Yesterday my armbands was blue. Like the team color is not even blue. Why right? they got We're blue on them? Red American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Cincinnati Reds. Reds baseball starts. Still ain't get my socks now. back though. I want my socks. I want my diamond socks back. <laughs> Sonny Gray, a right-hander out of Tennessee, will be the starting pitcher. What do we need to know here, Dave? Hey, like hey, this guy's got a real good job on here. Two thousand one of them. Batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under two fifty against this guy. He's been good all season. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Richard O'Neill, having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. It's a dirty ass slur. Bullshit. Who does not even jump? Next to stand in is Eugenio Suarez. He enters play at number six in National League batting average. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. O'Neill finds some space out there for the catch to retire the. see it ending anytime soon and uh, we got to take a look at the upcoming matchups but this guy is absolutely locked in the plate and I don't think anybody gets him to lose his total right now now with the plate here is Eddie Rosario two on two out for him here in the third here's a fly ball well hit racing back the right fielder that's out of here track, and that ball will stay Eddie Rosario, yo, number six. <coughs> Doesn't well. Home run down the line and right. Sixth home run on the season for him. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Mm -hmm. Eddie Rosario, he came out of nowhere. Wow, nothing Chugging. more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely Exit velocity. This could be the latter. 92. Next to hit, Richard O'Neill singled in his last at-bat. 
Matty. Pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. And he no. will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. That power swing sucked. I shouldn't have used it. I tried. You gotta try at least once. You know, you succeed once. The batter will be CJ Abrams. He steps in off a base hit in his last Jimmy game. Nelson. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been so good. Come on, Jimmy. Man, you can certainly attest to this. Only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. Ah, son of a bitch. Maybe he gets hot. Why didn't he pick that ball up? Shit. To the plate, and the runner will score from first. And a relay to the plate. And happy birthday as they allow him to cross with the inside the park home run as he catches his breath to reflect on his good fortune. Boy, the home fans are loving that inside the That's crazy. He didn't make a play on that ball at all. That's the second time that shit's happened to me. Go for the ball. Make a play on it. And just let it go by. <laughs> Digging in now for Philadelphia. Richard O'Neill flew out last time up. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's ah, big power, popped it up. he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Philadelphia get the win on the heels of four home runs. Jimmy Nelson earns win number seven on the season as he racked up ten strikeouts in the effort. Sonny Gray struggled and gets the loss after giving up six. Sonny Gray. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. of the Ohio. We welcome you to Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Today, the, the banks of the Ohio. Game of this three game series between the Philadelphia Cincinnati. Phillies and the Cincinnati Reds. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Tyler Molly gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us? Tyler Molly. Hey, man, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that added a new pitch to his repertoire, the split finger. He won't throw it that often. I think one of the reasons he tried to pick up this pitch had a difficult time throwing the straight. Now it'll be Richard O'Neill having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. What a season this guy's having. He's right second. That was weird. Like, who the fuck is batting higher than I am? dangerous with runners on base. <clears throat> Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is uh, into short left center. Laid on that one. Fielder, 
He makes the catch. What a play on the... Now to bat, Jesse Winker. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Jesse Winker. O'Neal is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would be really appreciated. Drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask if you choose to, but most important of all, be kind to each other. Tell someone you love them, and we'll have a wonderful night. Peace.